Hey guys, so normally this is the part of the show where I advertise my Patreon at patreon.com slash Matthew Donald, but I have something a bit more important to advertise today. No, this isn't a joke. This isn't like when I was like, oh, Paleo Bites hemorrhoid cream. And no, this isn't a joke on a joke. It's like, oh, this is Paleo Bites energy drink formula. No, of course not. No. And this isn't Paleo Bites toilet paper either. Ugh. I really undermined myself by doing so many jokes. So I have an actual book for you to actually buy with actual money. It's called Tesla Knots. It's a steampunk set in the 1920s about a secret group of government agents led by Nikola Tesla that use incredible technology hidden to the world. And the main character learns of this organization on a quest to find out what happened to his father who's been missing since World War I. And it's a romp. You really should check it out. It's available on Amazon, at Barnes & Noble, at Thrift Bookstores Online. It's available for ebook and print. It's getting great reviews so far, and you should be part of the movement, because this book is what's current. <laughs> Electrical pun. Also, I've got a Patreon at patreon.com slash Matthew Donald. And this month, we're talking about Disney's Dinosaur as our pop culture for Jim Prehistoric Animals, an underrated movie from 2000. You can check that out, I guess, too. Check them out on both. Support your local artists. Link is in the description for both of these things. Thank you for your support, and have a good day! Roar. Growl. Snarl. Bellow. Roar. Welcome to Paleo Bites, the podcast that, like the jawless fish Kephalespis, has no bite. My name is Matthew <laughs> Dahl, and each week I and a rotating series of guest co-hosts talk about and rate a genus of prehistoric animal, be it dinosaur, mammal, arthropod, and so on. This week, I'm joined by someone who has the most bites with a scathing... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he's fine. He's, he's really nice. It's been a Regan. How are you? I'm good. Still suffering from COVID, but like I mentioned last yeah. recording... This is all recorded yeah. in advance, so it's all at the same time. Yeah, exactly. By the, ti- by the time this comes out, you're going to be nice and healthy. Yeah. Or dead. <laughs> and then I'll have to get rid of this because I'll feel <laughs> bad about it. Because it'll be yeah. like, oh, look, I'm joking about your death, and then you're actually dead. But yeah, basically, <laughs> just so just so listeners don't get confused, I haven't had this for weeks on end. No, yeah, no, you just had it today. So, or, or, so, well, or I yesterday. Got it, I, like, ma- so. Manifested on Monday, so this is my third day. <laughs> Oh, God. Well, so you should be better soon. Uh, well, hopefully but... <laughs> I've got work again next week. I only got the two days off. Oh, no. Yeah, no, I get that. So, uh, okay, so uh, here's my dinosaur-related question, because I have to come up with these on the fly. So yep. uh, you you make a deal with a demon or something where, like, y- you, you can get a, any type of dinosaur you want, and it can be completely tamed, completely, like, under your command. It'll do whatever you want, it'll be completely well-trained, Yep. But in order to get it, you have to have COVID for a month. Which dinosaur would be worth that? Any. Any dinosaur would be worth that. Any dinosaur. So even if it's just like, ah, uh, here's a micropachycephalosaurus. I'm like, done. COVID for a month. <laughs> well, as long as it's not something um, discovered by Jack Horner, sure. <laughs> that's true. Uh, that's true. Well, Micropachycephalosaurus is actually the baby pachycephalosaurus, and then you got yeah. Stegosaurus, which is the which is the teenager pachycephalosaurus. And then you got like, <laughs> well, uh, the have they one? actually established that they would just grow phases? Those two? Oh, of course they did. Jack Horner, stop it. He's a menace. <laughs> 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 nah, he's all right. <laughs> did I tell you? Did you know that Jack Horner has a cameo in Jurassic World? Hey. Eh? Yeah, he is in the background after Owen finishes showing the Velociraptors their training and you see all the all the uh, other staff members like high-fiving and clapping. Yeah. You see Jack Horner in the background. Oh, uh, I'll He's have to rewatch that scene. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like to think that's the real Jack Horner. <laughs> he's, like, he's playing himself. Like... <laughs> That he's like, yeah, I'm as a paleontologist, I'm interested to see how this works. So I'll help you see, train these. I always crafters. thought the guy that gets um, panicked by the snake and then eaten in the Lost World was supposed to be Horner. Yeah, that's Robert Backer. So like, ah, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that would explain the whole bit where um, Robert Backer he added that to that scene by saying, "See, I told you it was a predator." <laughs> I love that. I love that retort. <laughs> it's good. Uh, God, okay, so I guess that wasn't a very good dinosaur related question because it's like any of them. Like, I don't care if it's a little one or a big one. <laughs> I, I'd have COVID for a month for it. <laughs> but yeah. I'll probably I think it'll only be an issue. Gig an Altosaurus if I had to be really specific. But that's because it's my well, that's dinosaur. The thing. Also, like, it, again, it's completely tamed and completely trained. So you can ride it. You can you can snuggle with its head if you want. <laughs> you can ask it to kill someone for you. It'll do whatever. But you have to have COVID for a month for it. <laughs> 
I'd rather ride it down to the shops in Wellington or on the hut and then just get it to roar at the owners until they give me free food and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> They'll eventually be used to it. They're like, oh, look, it's the guy with the Giganotosaurus again. <laughs> like, yeah. uh, I'd probably ride it everywhere <laughs> if I'm embracing my inner child. I wouldn't blame you. Even if it would take longer, how cool would that be? Well, yeah, like, and it's not like a car's going to get in your way. Who the hell is going to argue with a giant predator? <laughs> exactly. And, like, if you're late for work, but then you show up riding a Giganotosaurus, he's like, what are you going to do about it, boss? <laughs> what yeah, are you going to do about you, it? You can just have your dinosaur take a dump on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty cool. My only issue is, like, I feel like with this, I mean, the, the rules of this demon where you have to have COVID for a month or whatever, it, it I mean, who, you might still die from COVID. Also, what if you wanted a pack? I feel like, okay, I get one Velociraptor. I get COVID for a month, get the Velociraptor. I'm like, okay, I'm done. Wait a minute, I want another Velociraptor. You have to have COVID but for no, a month again. That's where loophole abuse is good. You ask for a Velociraptor with um, parthenogenesis like blue. Oh, exactly. Just keep getting more more Velociraptor. Okay, that's, that's true. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's on that one. Let's talk about something completely different. Uh, we're talking about a uh, relatively new species of dinosaur called Australotitan. Yeah. Uh, it means Southern Titan. Yeah, Australo the great southern south. lizard. Yeah, exactly. Uh, type is a titanosaur, the main Cretaceous group of sauropods that lived in the southern continents where there wasn't as much competition for more nithopods and ceratopsians. Uh, yeah. Size currently estimated to be 82 to 98 feet so that's 25 to 30 meters long and 40 to 70 tons, yeah. making it the largest known animal from Australia thus far. Crikey, yeah, I said. It's <laughs> I believe to be closely related to Dreadnoughtus and similar types, like when you oh, factor absolutely. in geography, and um, it's close to them size-wise based on estimates. Because what exactly. a lot of people don't know is most titanosaurs, despite the name, are actually quite small or medium-sized for sauropods. Like, you got Rapidosaurus, and you got, like... Which we covered. <laughs> like Diamantinosaur Diamantinosaurus, I think. Or like, yeah, some smaller ones, yeah. Saltosaurus is actually quite small too, but does yeah. have that armor, so. Ones like Australotitan, Drenortus, and Argentinosaurus were huge. Patagotitan is the new one too. So, Patagotitan. Uh, diet herbivore, like most, and I'd wager all sauropods, <laughs> time, mid-Cretaceous, 96 to 92 million years ago. Location, Australia. It was described in 2021, so just last year. Yep. Um uh, pop culture appearances, none yet, but give it time. Because <laughs> I feel like it'll pop up in a game or something somewhere. Um, so, <laughs> Australia isn't particularly known for its big animals. Like, dangerous animals, sure, but not big. Yeah, its fossil record's pretty scarce when it comes to dinosaurs. Today, the biggest land animal of Australia is the red kangaroo, which is a measly 185 pounds slash 85 kilograms. I weigh more than that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> technically, the biggest land animal down there... Um... Is the human, right? No, um, is a uh, camel. Oh, that's true, the camel. It would be the camel. Yeah, you're Camels right. Camels are highly invasive uh, well, largest... down there. They thrive in the desert because all the marsupials that used to fill that niche are gone, so they have to regularly cull them. Yeah, oh, God. The things we've done, because there's foxes and... Because, like, they put rabbits in Australia, so the rabbits are there, and then, so, like, well, we have to do something with these rabbits. Let's add foxes now. And then they've got like... wild pigs. Yeah, God, humans suck. <laughs> but... Anyways, so in the recent past, the biggest animal there was Diprotodon, a giant wombat-like relative the size of a hippo, and Megalania, a Komodo dragon the size of a large crocodile. So that's getting kind of up there. Oh, by the way, I learned recently Megalania is not its genus name anymore. It's Varanus. It's the same Yeah, because it's the Komodo uh, dragon. It's basically the same as Komodo dragon. It's sort of like how we think we used to think the Megalodon was Carcardon Megalodon, even though I think now it's like Ochidis Megadon or something. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but, it's, yeah, so um, Megalania is not its its species, its genus name anymore. Yeah, so. th they think one theory is that, um, obviously not the exact same species, but that the Komodo dragon might be an insuodorphism case of, a, of one of the Megalania species. Oh, really? Of, uh, the Komodo dragon, the biggest lizard in the world, is a dwarf. <laughs> That's pretty Yeah, <laughs> but they fill the, uh, pretty much the exact same niche, the exact same hunting method. The only main difference is Megalania was much larger, so there's a lot of talk of reintroducing them to Australia in fringe circles, like, to uh, refill that niche. And yeah, that would make sense. And yeah, they were, I think they did evolve in Australia, we think, too, so... Yeah. Um, Granted, while I'd be all for reintroducing them, we don't know what kind of impact they'd have, and I don't think the local Hopefully humans, they'd eat all the rabbits and foxes. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I don't think anyone, be they Aborigine, Anglo-Australian, or anyone else that lives in Australia, would take too fondly to poisonous lizards chasing around, because they do chase and kill humans. It's true, and they are poisonous. It's not just bacteria in their gut. They are literally have venom. They think they literally have venom. Yeah, that's their main hunting method. They bite, then they take their time while the 
poison and kills mm -hmm. you. Exactly. Um, but so, like, yeah, these animals, like Diprodon or, like, the Megalania, they're pretty big. But come on, Africa and Asia had, like, elephants and rhinos and giraffes and, like... And even and even North America has the moose, but like back in the day, it had mammoths and giant camels. So what, what about Australia? Okay, so let's go back to dinosaur times to see what was big in Australia back then. Okay, we got medium-sized ornithopods like Mudaburrosaurus, medium-sized theropods like Australovenator, and then small dinosaurs like Lianosaur and Minmi. What's big there? Okay, we got some sauropods. Yeah, we got a big one. What is it? It's Diamantinosaurus, the huge long-necked dinosaur, a whopping 49 feet long. Come on, that's smaller than Camarasaurus. You could do better, Australia. Okay, <laughs> here's another sauropod. Oh, this ought to be good. Uh, wait, the skeleton keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's 100 feet long and up to 70 tons. That's bigger than Brachiosaurus. Now we're in business and thus enter Australotitan, <laughs> currently <laughs> the largest known dinosaur and thus the largest known animal to ever live in Australia. So, yeah. And it looked alongside some other um, sauropods, such as um, the much smaller Wintono Titan and Savannosaurus. Yeah, like, the thing about Wintono Titan, because, like, this was found in the Winton Formation of southwest Queensland. Yes. Which is also where its relative Wintono Titan got its name. So that's the nice thing about Wintono Titan. It's a freebie for if you need to name a dinosaur beginning with W and you don't know how to spell Werehosaurus. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, because I don't know any many other W dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> so, Werehosaurus. Yeah, Werehosaurus is like the only one, and Wintown of Titan, the only two I can think of. Oh, isn't there a Wyoming raptor? Or was that decided to be an Allosaurus? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, the name no. doesn't Anyways. ring a bell. Alright, so the holotype of um, Australtitan is actually nicknamed Cooper. Yeah, like the guy who gets eaten by the Spinosaurus in Jurassic Park 3. Um, it, it includes a partial skeleton, including a scapula, a hubri, ulna, and femora. But an additional specimen called nicknamed George includes a thigh bone that reached up to seven feet long, which is similar in size to Dreadnoughtus and only a bit smaller than Patagotitan. <laughs> so, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. <laughs> I like how you just like, I don't really know what to say about it. <laughs> There's oh, no. just not much to say. No, I knew what to say. I was just, COVID's making it hard to speak. Don't worry, we're almost done here. Um, yeah. I'll finish it up here. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot to say about this one purely because there's so little on it. Yeah, there is. But here's um, um, it's 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 actually quite incredible. Australotitan managed to stand alongside some of the big heavy hitters in terms of size. Yeah. But uh, but here's the thing that's also interesting because we were talking about in the Kulasukas episode that like what if there was something in Antarctica like that? I think if there were titanosaurs in Australia and in South America, there had to be some in Antarctica, oh, right? They definitely would have like, had to have been because they were both connected to Antarctica until yeah. the like Australia that, that, didn't separate to after the Cretaceous. And then South America was p tied to it well into the Cretaceous, so... Exactly. So yeah. that would be how the Titanosaurus would have gotten there. So they would Indeed. have walk, go through Antarctica. So I just... I, I cannot wait for us to... Again, as long as we keep a Antarctica as pristine as we can, but I cannot wait for us to Do find more, fossil more about Antarctica. down there. Yeah, because there must be some good stuff. Like, apparently there's, like, this whole thing called the Antarctic Treaty that's, like, agreed on by, like, 50 different countries. That's yeah, it's to like prevent it being militarized or exploited. Even though it would be a perfect place for nuclear testing, you can't do it yeah. there. It's it not also allowed. doesn't <laughs> stop um, territorial claims down there because New Zealand and Australia well, yeah, and the UK have territorial claims and in Argentina. Norway and, and US and, yeah, Chile, yeah. other places, yeah. But they, it's not like it's technically... It's not part of the, the countries. It's just... Well, the bases are. Territory, I guess. But I don't think you need a passport to get from one to the other, I don't think. No. Although I could be wrong. But you're generally you're uh, not allowed down there full stop. My parents are actually going on a cruise to Antarctica later this year, so... Oh, cool. Pretty cool. Make well, sure uh, they get some cool photos. Fun. You can put them up on Facebook. I will, I will. My dad's a big birder, so we'll take photos of, like, all the seabirds that are down ah. there, so... Good stuff. Anyways, uh, since you're you're getting down with the Rona and... Uh, yeah. it, it's getting kind of late, and I need to call my girlfriend back. <laughs> yeah, sorry, listeners. I hope I wasn't too painful to listen to. That's okay. Let's just rate Austral Titan 1 out of 65 million and get the hell out of here. <laughs> so. Well, I've never done a rating this low, but I'm going to rate it 1 out of 65 million because the whole reason I picked this dinosaur was part of the Anglo Kiwi, um, the Australian New Zealand rivalry, so suck it all. Oh, uh, so you're just giving it a 1. <laughs> yeah. Not even 1 million, just 1. <laughs> no, 1 million. I'm not that oh, cheap. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. <laughs> like, nah. Well, no, in all oh, seriousness, I have no beef of Australia. I'm just playing into the rivalry and giggles. Uh, of course. Look, honestly, 
I like Australia. I like Australian podcasts, but in terms of where I'd visit more, definitely New Zealand. Right. <laughs> New Zealand seems a lot nicer. But Australia is the yeah. only place in the world where the spiders chase you. <laughs> ah, yeah, and I've seen some like pictures of like was it huntsman spiders? <laughs> oh my god, it's enormous! Right, you should see the Goliath bird eater. Ah. All right, uh, what did I rate? I didn't rate this. Uh, Fifty million. Who cares? All right, let's that's it for this week. <laughs> Right. If you want to get a hold of us, you can contact us at MattsD at MatthewDonCreator.com for your questions to any of the co-hosts. You can find me on social media at MatthewDonCreator on Facebook and then MatthewDon64 at, any, at various other places like Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, whatever. Um, and I have a book series on Amazon Megazoke available for print and Kindle. Uh, there's no Australotite in it because it was described after the books were published. But if it was in there, I would have definitely used it. Like the um, In my books, the Australian dinosaurs really love their artillery. <laughs> <laughs> and so I would have definitely had some of these with our uh, artillery on them. So. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I also have another book called Tesla Knots on Amazon. Uh, steampunk stuff. Not, no dinosaurs in it yet. <laughs> Probably not ever. But you never know. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Um, that's it for this week. Say the end of every episode of Penny Bites. You don't have to say anything because you're sick, so I'm just going to be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. See you, everyone.